Hello, in this episode, we'll be teaching you how to tune the Kuzheng. If you're someone that's just started playing the Kuzheng or you just bought a new Kuzheng and you want to do a regular maintenance of the Kuzheng, this video will be helpful for you. Before we start tuning, let's see what you need. A tuning wrench, fake nails or picks. Of course, there's the tuner. Any kind of chromatic tuner will do, just make sure they are in 442 Hz. Another thing to take note is the key setting of the tuner is in C key. Also, we need to have basic understanding of musical scales. As you know, musical scales usually start with C, D, E, F, G, A, B. So if you're progressing up the scale, you'll be tightening your strings, and when you're going down the scale, you'll be loosening the strings. So with that in mind, let's begin. For this video, we'll be tuning the Gujeng to the key of D, which is also the most commonly used key for the Gujeng. The Gujeng is tuned to the pentatonic scale, so it's Do, Re, Mi, So, La. In our case, in the key of D, it will be D, E, F sharp, A and B. You have to remember these five notes closely. Why? Let's take a closer look. From the top, the first five strings for D major are tuned to Do, Re, Mi, So, La. So, you should get D, E, F sharp, A and B on the tuner. The next five strings will be a repeat of the same five notes. This format carries on to the second last string of the Gujeng, with the last string tuned to D. One way to check if you are on the right track is that in D major, the strings in green are usually tuned to A. One more thing to remember, pushing the tuning wrench tightens the string, meaning the note will go higher, pulling the wrench towards you does the opposite. Now that we're all set, let's check the thicker string on the Gujeng, which is now a C sharp. So going from C to D requires the string to be tightened, Push the wrench forward and you get a D. So the next string is E, but unfortunately, it's a D right now. So we'll just have to tighten the string a little more to reach E. Don't forget that there's a D sharp, so D, D sharp, E. So you have to push a little slightly more. We'll just do two more strings to show you how tuning is actually done. You'll also notice that we tend to tune the string slightly higher. That means the needle is pointing slightly to the right instead of being centered. This is to give the instrument a longer time before it goes flat, which we'll have to do another round of tuning after that. Quick tip, if the Gujeng you have is undergoing its first ever tuning, make sure you tune the Gujeng for at least three times to make sure it stabilizes. One good way to hasten the stabilizing process is to gently press the strings on both sides of the Gujeng. So, a tuned D major Gujeng will sound beautifully like this. And there you have it, that's how you tune the Gujeng in the key of D. Do remember that you have to tune your Gujeng regularly or else you go out of tune really quickly. And if it's really 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 grossly out of tune and you need help from us, you can always contact us through email, WhatsApp, Facebook or even Instagram. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!